Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, I like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you another top 5 simple farms that you can build in your world. That being said, let's jump straight on into the video. Ah, uh, again, well, moving on. So for a mega project that I've got coming up, I need a hell of a lot of brown concrete. And to make brown concrete, you need to convert it from brown concrete powder. And then, of course, it becomes brown concrete. And to do that, you need water. You need to put this block through water. And that brings me on to number one, because this system right here, it looks a little bit complex. In fact, I think it's the most complicated that you'll see in today's video. However, it is not that bad. In fact, it looks a little bit more complex than it actually is, because I have added a few more little extensions on it. For example, that top row of pistons wouldn't normally be on this farm. And also the collection system, that wouldn't be on this farm either. However, I mean, it's always nice having a collection system right and the top row of pistons just allows me to get that a little bit more concrete before i have to stop placing down the concrete powder and if you're wondering how this works basically all you got to do is stand in this little door and place down your concrete powder here you can hold it down so this bit of the system is actually completely afk it will completely do everything for you. And then when there's no more room on the system, it will actually stop. What I'm going to do is put these through the system right now. And then I'll be back straight after. At this point, I have run out of concrete powder. And it is completely converted into concrete. So now I am free to go ahead and collect it. And there we go. Nearly got all of the concrete. And it should go down the collection system into this chest just here. So if you do want to build this system, I'm going to leave a full tutorial in the description description below remember the collection system and the top row of pistons is not going to be in that tutorial but you will get the basic concepts and you could even add those on yourself on to the next one to make all of that brown concrete powder, I would have needed a bunch of cocoa beans to, of course, make cocoa beans. Obviously, that's meant to be brown dye, but the update has just messed it up. Lol. So, yeah, I needed a bunch of cocoa beans, and that's where number two comes into play. All you got to do is flick the switch and hold the place button just here. And this system will make you a bunch of cocoa beans. Of course, it is powered by bone meal, so you do need a little bit of bone meal as well. But once you're done, you can flick the switch off and have a look to see how many we've actually got. So we made ourselves 49, I think it was. This thing is super small and super resource friendly. All you need to build this is simply one piece of glass, one hopper, two dispensers, one sticky piston, one jungle log, 11 pieces of redstone, one redstone comparison one lever and one mossy cobblestone slab again it doesn't need to be mossy cobblestone it can be any slab in addition to this you are going to need at least one cocoa bean to start this farm off and of course some bone meal oh yeah and before i forget you're gonna need a double chest as well which i've already placed down in this position and to start this farm off you're gonna want to dig a line of six blocks so that's one two three four five and six and on the third and second, you're going to want to place that double chest so you can stand here. And this is, of course, where you can AFK for your cocoa beans. After this, crouch space and place down your hopper. Then we're going to get our dispensers and place one each side of the hopper, just like that. Grab your sticky piston, place it down next to the hopper or behind, should I say, facing upwards with the jungle log on top. Grab your redstone, link all of this up using that hole down there as well. And you, of course, want to go on this dispenser. Then for the switch, you want to go one, two, three, and four. Grab your comparator, click it once, and then simply place your lever there. So now when we click the lever, it will actually start to flash and all of those will turn on at once. Right now, I'm going to get a temporary block and place it on that jungle log. I'm going to place the glass on top and the half slab just there. I'm going to fill the dispensers with bone meal or just a little bit of bone meal. Move the temp block, grab some cocoa beans, and that is farm complete. So yeah, number two, the super simple cocoa bean farm. So for farm 
farm number three, I have gone for the bucket fish farm. Now, I call this one the bucket fish farm because it gives you really good access to get yourself easy buckets of tropical fish. If you set this up in the right location, and of course, let me see if I can grab one of these fish without making a right mess. Now, it's important you don't try and grab them whilst they're in the actual cobwebs. All right, I'm gonna try and grab this one. If I come around here, I should be able to get this one easily. There we go. So, as you can see, you can get buckets of, what, parrot fish, apparently. Or, literally, any buckets of tropical fish. I did mess it up a little bit here. Why this is useful is because you could use this system to get that super rare blue axolotl. Of course, you need a bunch of tropical fish in a bucket to feed them. And I find this system to be pretty useful for that purpose. Now, unfortunately, from this specific farm, you don't get treasure loot, but you get bones and fish, as you can see. If I just go to show you there, you get tropical fish, bones, and of course, normal fish. You can even get the occasional trident, but if you do want the loot from these, you're going to have to kill them yourself. Yay, the turtle got free. So, at the minute, because I broke it, they're actually able to escape. So, I'm just going to add these blocks here. I've got a full tutorial to a perfect design in the description below. You can pretty much make these as big or as small as you want. As I said, the downside is you don't actually get treasure loot from this fish farm. But it's definitely worth it to get these buckets of tropical fish to get that rare blue axolotl. So, from non-treasure fish farms to treasure fish farms, this one is the simplest fish farm on Bedrock Edition, and it will give you XP and treasure loot. Of course, it is going to be better when it's raining. You get 20% faster catches if it is raining on your bobber. But anyway, long story short, all you need to do is get yourself a bucket of water on the Bedrock Edition anyway. Grab yourself a decent rod. I mean, you could start off with a rubbish rod and simply fish in a one by one square. If you're starting out like day one, this is going to offer you some real good loot for day one farms. And it is as easy as it gets. All you need is a piece of string, a stick, and a bucket. And like I said, before long, you will actually get yourself some treasure loot. I mean, I just literally pulled out a name tag just there. But here's a clip that I got earlier. I'm going to speed it up whilst it's raining. You can see it's a lot better whilst it's raining. You can also pull out pretty good bows and fishing rods. Not to mention, you can get pretty OP enchanted books. This one right here, which we got from the AFK fish farm, was a mending book. Of course, the only difference is you're not going to be able to collect the items using the super simple system. You've just got to, like, either pull them towards you like that, or just wait for them to collect on the side and then collect them after. So, not only can you get decent treasure loot from a single square of water, but you can also get XP. Of course, you're not going to be able to see how much XP I'm going to get from this farm because i mean yeah i've got max xp levels right now but you do get a little bit of xp if you stayed fishing for a little while you can definitely definitely get a little bit of xp built up over time now i believe on the java edition this single block of water won't work it will not give you treasure loot i think you can get normal fish out of it but you won't be able to get treasure loot you have to have a five by five square of water to be able to get treasure loot so yeah you get treasure loot you get xp and this thing is so so simple to build it literally is just a string a stick and a bucket of water the super simple i mean i suppose you could call it portable treasure loot fish farm and finally we have got a lava farm now i'm gonna build this in the snow room but basically if you didn't know already dripstone and a block of dripstone with a cauldron can actually give you unlimited lava this is handy because pretty much we've never been able to make unlimited lava before it's only been since i think 117 i think maybe maybe was that when dripstone got added but yeah all you gotta do add yourself a cauldron add yourself a bit of dripstone i think you've got to have like a gap so i'm gonna like add it there so apparently it's dripping water even though there's like nothing there right now what i'm gonna do is get this block i'm gonna place my lava and then very quickly place a solid block so it doesn't spill out because of course 
we do not like spillage on this channel and uh yeah now i'm just gonna wait for this to fill up i mean i don't know how long it takes but i have seen some systems where they have like pistons pushing around a bunch of cauldrons I mean, it looked pretty good however for simplicity all i would do is simply get a cauldron some dripstone a dripstone block and some lava above it and you've pretty much got yourself an infinite lava farm like i said i'm gonna wait here to see how long it takes i'll be back in a sec I just heard a noise that sounded like lava filling up a cauldron. So I'm going to have a look. Oh, yeah. And there we go. It didn't actually take too long to fill up this uh, cauldron with uh, lava. Pretty decent. And now I've got an unlimited lava source, which is, again pretty decent and it was simple so so simple and that is exactly what we like there we go top five simple farms again if you think oh damn the rain it comes again as i was saying if you think there should be a simpler farm in this list do not hesitate and let me know in the comments below oh damn i didn't hit the tree farm this time now that was op oh damn so i have got some big projects coming up on the channel very soon or at least i think very soon so if you're not already hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you on the next one